we feeling? Feeling in love. You love Kira. Yes. How nervous are you? Um, not nervous yet, but once I see all these people, I'm probably gonna shit bricks. <laughs> Ready to walk down the aisle. Yeah. It is 503, so we are a three. Last chance. Late. Last chance. We good? I think we're good. We're good. Signing off. Signing off. Bye. It's the way that you move And I'm falling in love with you My name is Kira and I'm the bride. So we had known each other. We went to school together. I moved here in like fifth grade. So we'd known each other for a while. Um, but it wasn't till the summer before our senior year. Um, really random, but my dog ate a frog and I posted it on Snapchat and I was like, oh my gosh, how gross. And he slid up and he asked me if her mouth foamed up. I, don't, I guess it's some kind of like chemical reaction, I don't know. So it was just like really random, I was like weirded out by it. And he just kind of kept, kept Snapchatting me, we kept talking and then after a couple months, I was, I was a little hard to, to sell, but after a couple months, then we kind of started, started dating and the rest is history. Uh, Brent Stockstill, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the bride. I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, no, I'm the groom. My bad, I'm sorry, I forgot that. That's me. Legend. You know, really, I didn't talk to her that much when we first met, you know. Uh, she was pretty quiet. I was shy, you know. And then we met later on, high school re reconnected, and the ship sailed itself from there. Well, you know, we took the tax test right next to each other every year for about seven years, never talked to each other. Uh, and then senior year, uh, we met through a friend group and that's when things really took off. I love Brent and his, like, he just has such a servant's heart. Like, I think if you're one of his people, whether it's family, friends, whoever, like, he is going to give you the shirt off of his back. He's going to do whatever he can. He'll drop everything and do whatever needs to be done. Um, just for anybody. I mean, genuinely, he's just, he is like the epitome of you know, having a servant's heart. And he has a great sense of humor, so he always keeps me on my toes. <laughs> Just, I never know what he's gonna say and do, so. Uh, her smile and her laugh are my two favorite things about Kira. I love you, babe, and I'm ready to spend the rest of our years together. Brent, don't do anything crazy. Don't be too spastic and just enjoy the day. You know, I think he gets a little overwhelmed at times with a lot of Bit crowds and stuff like that. So I would just say that I'm excited to see you and I just want to appreciate this day and us as a couple and not get too distracted with all the other small details. Um, I'm Cameron, I'm Kira's sister and I am the maid of honor, co-maid of honor with Paige. Something I love about Kira is just her carefree personality, but also just the way that she like, if she needs to, she can just stand up, be strong and just like, take charge if she needs to. So like in any kind of situation, if I'm trying to like do anything, um, <laughs> she'll be there every step of the way and she'll support me no matter what, but she'll also make sure that we're both like doing what we're supposed to and like staying like safe and stuff like that, so. I'm Paige, I am a co-maid of honor. I am Kira's older sister. My first impression of Brent, he was just so tall. And it was so funny because Kira, he was so tall and Kira's so short. And they were so opposite because Brent is more of like a goofy guy. And he, he fit in so well with our family, which our family is a little crazy. And so when he fit in just so well, it was just kind of one of those things that like I was like, oh wow. It just kind of felt easy. It, he was just easy. Now don't get me wrong, he is like annoying and <laughs> he gets on my nerves, but I think that's kind of what, I've never had a brother. And so it was just one of those things that like, he just fit in so well, he fit in like an annoying little brother. And it's been, it's been so funny kind of watching them together. Um, hi, I'm Nathan Solomon and I am a groomsman for Brent and Kira. Um, one piece of advice I'd give Brent and Kira is um, if there are gonna obviously be fights in relationships, 
Um, it just happens with everybody, whether you're dating somebody or your friends or family. Um, it's it's kind of cliche, but never go to bed angry. Always communicate through, um, talk it through, tell each other how you're feeling, and don't give each other a cold shoulder. And that'd be my advice I'd give. Something I love about Brent is that he's just so goofy. He's just someone that you could just talk to and just always laugh with. Brent is an absolute goofball. He loves to have fun. He is like the brother I never asked for. Although he's very funny and jokes around, uh, he's kind of like the super serious brother, older brother, even though he's younger, that uh, always kind of watches out for me and uh, has always been loyal. So I love that about the guy. And so he's also super welcoming and you never feel you know, out of place with him either. I love that Kira is just so down to earth and just there for her friends at all times. Whether you're having a bad day, a good day, she's always there with a shoulder to lean on. And um, she's been there for me through a lot of hard times in my life, but also a lot of good. And so she's just that constant in my life. Kira is the perfect buffer to our group. She, she literally can calm us all down. She's like the mother that needs to kind of keep us all in check. And so um, she's just been great to have. And she's been really funny to kind of have around. And I'm glad that she can kind of bear me, Nathan, and Brent's relationship. So. <laughs> like I said before, she is my grounding force. Like if I ever have anything that I don't know, like I can call my mom, I can call my dad, but Kira is one of those people like I call and she's going to tell me exactly what I need to hear and I love that about her and she's just, she is a person I can count on no matter what and I, I do love that. She's pretty cool. She calms Brent down. She takes Brent from the barbarian of the man he is and actually civilizes him. And I know that's kind of a joke, but it's true. She brings out the best part of Brent. His beard, he knows how to grow a good beard. Um, and I cannot do that. I agree with Colby, a great beard. Just take it one step at a time. Brent needs to take control. Um. <laughs> Go Pokes, we lost. Um, she is so, 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 so sweet. And she's always been a close friend. She's very funny, um, but she's always there when you need her and for there to be for a good laugh. So. One piece of advice I would give to Brett and Kira going into marriage is to never stop dating each other just because they're getting married. I think they should still like keep dating and keep the young love alive. <laughs>
but you haven't always been this version of yourself. You've been a boy in a football jersey, my prom date in shiny shoes, and my best friend in a cap and gown. I've known so many versions of you, and still I cannot wait to discover a lifetime one. It's this unconditional love that has taught me what all love should look like. This love is unlike anything else I've ever known, and it's the love I choose for my future family. For me, you are everything. You're truly the embodiment of what, of what love looks like without conditions. I've been trying to put into words how I feel about you for six years now. So today, I'll tell you this. You are everything I hoped for and nothing I expected. After growing up beside you, evolving into the people we are today, I know one thing to be certain. You are the person I was always meant to spend forever with, today and every day after. I love you. That was so hard. <laughs> Good job, baby. Kira, my favorite thing about you is your calming presence. I can sit with you and all of my problems seem to be non-existent. You make my heart happy and warm. I love your smile and your laugh and how you care for our boys and always make them feel so loved. <laughs> The way you always strive to be better not only motivates me to be a better man, but it makes me feel so special that you chose to spend your life with me. I promise to always protect you and be there to listen when you need an ear. I promise to love you with all of my heart and give you everything that I have. I will always be in your corner and support you no matter what life brings me. Okay. I love you too. So pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all have chosen to walk this journey together. So enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. Okay, because uh, it's one of those things you got to snap of the fingers. You know, one of those days you're, you're walking your daughter up to the kindergarten steps, and the next day you're walking down the aisle. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Brent, you can kiss your bride. <laughs> Think I got the chance, and I ain't gonna waste it. Honey trip and romance, and the hours of faith.
just got married. It's done. No more Stockton. No. Oh. So, but I got a ring. But you got a ring. Stockton. Yeah. Well, I got this ring, but I really got that, that ring. <laughs> One, two, show them how we do. Three, four, turn it up more. Five, six, can you do it like this? Seven, eight, and don't be late now. Like a nine to let me see you work. Work that, work that. Like a nine to so we gotta uh, work, work. Feels so good, I've been working it out. Now let the haters try to talk. I've been I don't like my camera. camera. Get the work in, ride out.